We know that it's the two brothers, obviously. Tamerlan Tsarnaev, he's now dead. He was a 26-year-old. He apparently was the one who motivated this attack. That's what they we're finding out now today. He was the one that was far more into uh, Islam and a strict interpretation, fundamentalist interpretation of Islam. He apparently was uh, radicalized by... Now, this is the initial reports. Understand, they got to do an investigation on this. So don't go around prejudging people or especially because the police have not even contacted this guy but there is stories out from family members there was a guy named Misha who was a convert to Islam who then talked to uh, this Tamerlan guy and, and taught him or got him into more fundamentalist strain of Islam for example you remember he was in a boxing we saw some of those pictures well it turns out uh, that this guy had him quit boxing apparently he was into music and wanted to study music this guy got him to quit music. When a family member asked him, why'd you quit music? You just started a little while ago in school. Tamerlan apparently said, no, uh, I found out that Islam is against music. <laughs> okay, now there's a billion Muslims in the world. Trust me, 99% of them are totally into music. Okay, and it's the 1% fundamentalists that uh, are, of course, radicals, crazies, and every religion has their orthodox, they're fundamentalists that are way out there. And by the way, the orthodox of every religion are not necessarily fundamentalists, to be clear, because there's different titles there, right? Uh, but uh, in this case, it led to tremendous violence, and that is even more rare, obviously, than the absurd interpretations of any particular religion. Uh, and then we go to the 19-year-old, of course, the one that it survived, and we're getting some of this information, obviously, from him, and some of the authorities are telling the press what they have learned. So now that's Jakar Zarnayev. He's in the hospital. He's the one that got shot through the throat. Uh, he was arraigned, and he is apparently now saying, "Yes, I was involved. Yes, I planted the bombs." Now again, we'll have to see if this holds up in court. But this is the news we're getting right now. And apparently, he's the one that put down the first bomb, and then uh, walked away from it. Saw it blow up. Put down the second backpack. Walked away from that. That blew up. So uh, very much involved. Now there's a lot of stories out there about how he was a regular kid and you know like to smoke weed and all of his friends liked him and he was outgoing and he was a bright kid and and was into sports yeah but he also laid down two bombs that injured now up to 250 people killed three people so he was apparently a normal looking kid a normal acting kid for a while uh, but obviously the end result was not that and so the fact that his brother apparently influenced him to do this I find interesting I think it's very important that we find out the motivations so that we can prevent future attacks at the same time I view it as of course absolutely no excuse okay oh your brother talked you into killing that poor eight-year-old kid and the two women and having all those legs blown off okay well then he sh you shouldn't have gotten talked into it that was a disastrous idea and I would give him if those things are proven in a court of law the maximum sentence so I'm not interested in hearing your sob story about how your brother was a jerk to put it very very politely okay and he apparently was now he was uh, once arrested for domestic assault he had slapped his girlfriend he apparently is the one that uh, hated America more went to radical Islamist websites and by the way there's apparently a magazine called inspire where uh, people who are interested in radical Islam and perhaps attacking America go to. Now I'm against tracking people and where they're going on the internet completely. If I'm the FBI, I'm uh, not saying anything, I'm just saying that particular magazine seems to be, if what the press reports about it is true, uh, is something where I'd be like, well if you're going there I might want to take a little peek. Look, you know what, in, in all honesty and, and, and in seriousness here, I, if you put that in a warrant to me saying he's going to Inspire Magazine and I have a couple of other pieces of evidence and can I get a warrant, I'd be like, Psh, have at it, Hoss. Right? Not to say that you monitor everybody, but uh, that's a very questionable magazine that seems to have a very specific purpose, if the press is to be believed on that. All right, and uh, apparently in one of those posts we showed you on the very first day, uh, Tamerlan said, you know what? I don't like America, I've been here a while, and that was apparently about five years ago, he said, I've been here for five years, but I don't have any American friends. And of course, we also know that last year he went to Russia for about six months and then came back. It is a legitimate question as to whether he talked to anybody there and got any guidance from any outside groups. Doesn't mean we attack Russia or Chechnya or Dagestan or any other country or re-attack Iraq for no reason, right? 
but it is important to ferret out who might have given him guidance, if anyone, right? But to me, as I piece all this together, unfortunately, it does come down to this Tamerlan, the older brother, who apparently, I think, is to some degree a misfit. Obviously, his family says, no, we liked him. Yeah, well, I mean, they're your family, right? But apparently was such a loser, like his uncle said, that he couldn't have any friends in America for five years. And he's the one that got into radical Islam, he's the one that apparently wanted to go towards violence. And his brother seemed to have a bright future before all of this, dragged his brother into it, had all these people killed. I mean, and to me, it's, oh, I'm angry about what the American government did. Look, I'm angry about some of the things the American government did. But if you believe in this country, or even if you don't, if you believe in rationality and reason, you don't just then kill an eight-year-old and two innocent women that had nothing to do with it. You don't blow off people's legs that had nothing to do with it. They didn't make those decisions. And you know, you want to say, oh, well, in a democracy, everybody's guilty. Really, the eight-year-old's guilty? That makes no sense whatsoever. The bottom line is, this guy didn't, have, didn't like America. You know why? You know why it got to the point where it wasn't a, really a political statement, if you ask me, about America and its government. It was a statement about, damn it, I couldn't make any friends here. I'm such a loser, so I'm going to strike out against everybody else. I can't believe the cops talk to me when I slap my woman like I think I should be able to. I can't believe that none of these Americans would be friends with me. Apparently they all think I'm an idiot and a loser and a moron and a despicable guy. Well, it turns out, Tom Erlon, you were they were right. Okay, You are all those things. Again, this does not excuse the younger brother even 1%. When somebody comes up with an idea and says, hey, would you like to go along with my plot to kill people? That's when you walk away. And by the way, you turn them in. So I, all of these people are unbelievable. And apparently they say that these guys were, quote, self-radicalized. What Jacquard is now saying is that there was no one else involved. And look, you take that with a grain of salt. This is the guy who did the bombing, right? And you continue to investigate, no question about that. And he says that it, they were not inspired by any outside group. Again, take it with a grain of salt, continue to investigate. But right now, uh, we're beginning to at least get a fuller picture of what happened, and it ain't pretty.